Did you catch this in Spider-Man Homecoming? Look closely in this scene, and you'll see a cameo by the original Iron Man. Well, original in the sense that it's Tony Stark's father, Howard Stark, as part of a mural of famous scientists and inventors. Did you catch this in Jurassic Park? Take a look at the three outfits Dennis Nedry wears. Notice anything special about them? All of them are directly inspired by outfits in The Goonies, a film that Jurassic Park director Steven Spielberg wrote and produced. You missed this in Star Wars Episode V The Empire Strikes Back. The bounty hunter Bosk may have had only one scene, but he made a big impression on fans. But did you know that he is literally cobbled together from parts? His suit was actually repurposed from one used on Doctor Who, while his head was a repainted mask from the cantina scene in Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope. Did you catch this in Ralph Breaks the Internet? As Vanellope sings the Sauter Race song, a shark pops out of a manhole with several animals in its mouth, as well as a license plate. Recognize that plate? It's the same one that can be seen in another famous movie, Jaws. Did you notice this in Gladiator? While the filmmaker wanted to portray ancient Rome as accurately as possible, they intentionally left in a huge historical inaccuracy. In the films, a thumbs down from the emperor meant no mercy for the gladiator, while a thumbs up meant they'd be spared. Historically, however, the gestures meant the opposite. A thumbs up symbolized a sword action, while a thumbs down meant a sheathed sword. The film's crew were aware of this but felt like doing things accurately would be too confusing for the audience. You missed this in 1917. During the scene where Lance Corporal Schofield runs along a trench, he collides with another running soldier and falls. This wasn't actually in the script, it was an accidental collision between the actor and an extra. But he recovered and kept running, and the filmmakers decided to keep the shot since it felt so authentic. Did you catch this in Saving Private Ryan? While fighting on the bridge, you can see a German Tiger tank which is covered in a strange ribbed material. This is actually called Zimmerit, and it was a paste-like coating that the Germans placed on vehicles to make them anti-magnetic, so that magnetically attached anti-tank mines wouldn't stick to them. Of course, in this scene, they used adhesive bombs which have no problem sticking to the anti-magnetic tanks. Did you see this in The Dark Knight Rises? Most will recognize Jonathan Crane as the villain from Batman Begins, but did you notice this detail? When he first appears as the sentencing judge, he's wearing a heavily tattered coat that looks like it has straw coming out of the shoulders. This was a clear nod to his alter ego, Scarecrow. Did you know this about Inception? As explained by the film's director Christopher Nolan, each role on the Inception team was based off a role in filmmaking. Cobb is the director, Arthur is the producer, Ariadne is the production designer, Ames is the actor, Saito is the studio, and Fisher is the audience. Did you catch this in Joker? Take a close look at the painting in Arthur's apartment. Not only is this the Blue Boy, one of the most famous paintings in the world, but it has a connection to another completely different Joker. In Tim Burton's 1989 Batman film, the Joker pays special attention to the same painting where he goes to the art museum. I bet you didn't notice this in Squid Game, but as the games go on, the maze's interior color keeps getting darker and darker. 